Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man X. When we last left off, we had taken care of the first two stages of Cygnus Fortress, and now... Stage 3. And we got ourselves a little bit of James Bond-esque music going on here. That turtle. Just get over there. And the first boss that we have to deal with is... Uh, yeah, that's right. Armor Armadillo. Just avoid the spinning attack. Oh, wow. I thought he'd actually bounce off. At least we can hit him again. Ah, oh, yeah. I thought I was going to miss, weren't you? Looks like I was about to miss there, but then I realized when you hit the wall. Hoping we would stay, that, stay still long enough. Well, I could use a boomerang cutter for that. You know what? I might as well just show how it's supposed to work. Oh. Well, so much for that. And we got Steam Chameleon here, so we got, got to use a boomerang cutter. Alright, stop looking around, stop sticking out your tongue, and let me hit you. Oh, come on! There we go. Just tag him in the feet, tag him in the foot. See where he's gonna go. Come my way. Dash jump it is. If you're lucky, you can actually get him in the loop. Oh, come on! Ah, once again, I can't hit the guy. Okay. God, I got him on the run here now. Yep, he's gone. So yeah, if he just goes to one of the goes to one of the far go fall pretty far into the corner. Just use your dash jump. Don't be afraid to use A and B with two hand with two different fingers like I did. Okay, got those guys rid of, let's go ahead and actually, okay, we're, we're good on energy, I think. Next one's going to be Spark Mandrel, I think, yeah, Spark Mandrel. Got a little light show going on, let's go ahead and just tag him with uh, shotgun ice. Yeah, you just gotta time it right, and you can just hit him. Be sure to use your... Use those little bang shots, just use that re... Use the little rebound. Run the little ice shot breaks in the five, and... Being in the back, just being whatever you can, and you should be able to beat him. And we got the fish now, and we know it's going to be Launch Octopus, because, well, he's the only boss we fought underwater. Oh, I actually took a hit there. That's not good. And I want to use the Boomerang Cutter here, because it is going to make this battle easier, as you're about to see why. We weren't able to do this the first time, because, well, we didn't have Boomerang Cutter. We actually saved Boomerang for last. And if he stops spinning, I'll be able to hit him with it. And we got him. If you cut, once you hit him with Boomerang Cutter three times, you'll be able to just kill off all of his attacks except for the salvo of missiles. You just fire straight forward. All the homing, homing missiles and the spinning attack, it's gone. He also stands around a lot, so it's even easier to beat him in the back, much like that. Ha uh ha. -huh. 
And might as well go ahead and re-equip Chameleon Sting here because of what we're about to do. I'm going to take the top route and we will need use it here to get past the spikes. And we're going to need Boomerang Cutter for this one too. Yes, you do have to take those spikes up top in order to get those power-ups. It's well worth it. Can't do that anymore now that I cut your trunk off now, don't can't ya? Alright, just keep hitting him with with the uh, with the storm tornado again. Sometimes you'll get lucky and get two hits of damage instead of one. And there he goes. Like clockwork. And all that we got left is this door. And we are going to have to go through it with the boomerang cutter because it is the weakness for this fight. And we got this little tank thing with the head that just floats off and has a mind of its own, so to speak. Definitely don't want to be on the wall when it hits it because you will take some real damage. Actually, you'll just be knocked off pretty much like the Earthquake Effect from uh, Flame Mammoth. Then you'll take some real damage. And all that can be said here is just use a boomerang cutter, use your boots, use your boomerang cutter shots wisely, as a matter of fact, and you should be good. And that's stage three finished. I'm saving stage four for the next and possibly final video because, well, the first few stages are normal difficulty, but stage four can be like a world of its own. And like all, all final bosses, I want to use a opportunity to get a practice run in. It, it would work. I really wanted to get this ended right now, but unfortunately, when I tried it, it just drove me nuts. So I had to use a practice run instead of going through this one in one fell swoop. Sorry guys, I tried to be as hardcore as possible with this one, but sadly things just weren't turning out as expected, and so I wanted to make it look like I actually knew what I was doing. So. Well, by knowing what I was doing, I mean, make it look like you understand, folks. Well, anyway, tune in next time where we finally finish this game off. So until then, this is Prince Watercrest. Take care. Stay safe. Thanks for watching.